Last night via ESPN, Dana White announced that though the fights are not signed for, they are pretty much done. And that is two title fights for March uh, 5th, which is UFC 272. Um, those fights are both championship rematches in the men's bantamweight and featherweight division. I am, of course, talking about the title unification belt, which is finally happening between Petty Yan and Aljamain Sterling, and the third fight in their trilogy between Max Holloway and the featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky. Uh, also worth noting, there are some other fights already announced for UFC 272, including Bryce Mitchell versus Edson Barboza, which is a fantastic fight in the featherweight division also. Um, but let's start with the unification belt between Petty and Aljamain Sterling because this one's been coming for quite a while. Obviously, we got that first fight back at UFC 259. Um, a great fight that told us a lot about both guys and then ended in controversial manner in the fourth round with that illegal knee, which resulted in Aljamain Sterling being crowned the champion despite losing the fight at that point. I remember him starting quite well, but it, the strategy seemed to not be working out. And as time went on, as Petty Yan's fights often do, he just becomes more dominant over time. And it, I really felt a finish coming. So I think a lot of people saw it as that knee kind of saved Aljamain Stone in that fight and got him this rematch that maybe he didn't deserve. Um, either way, I think there's a lot of fascination going into this fight. Um, the strange thing is that Petty Yan has gone away and beat Corey Sandhagen in the meantime to become the interim champion, which is why it's a unification. That was in October at UFC 267, and because he's gone away and fought since, it very much feels like that was a title defence for Petty Yan, which obviously it wasn't because he didn't win the title because he illegally needs Aljamain Sterling. Um, but I think a lot of people will see Yan as the champion going into this fight, me included, um, because he was beating Aljamain Sterling at the time where he was disqualified. Um, and I think for that reason, he'll be a heavy favourite. We've also seen how Jan deals with Sterling. And that's the big thing for me is that I'm curious to see in this in this rematch when they run it back, is how Aljamain Sterling adapts. Because his game plan was very much put pressure on him. He came out incredibly aggressive, threw the kitchen sink at Petty Jan, and just seemed to kind of tire, and it wasn't really affecting Petty Jan. Um, who does read the sport so well and really make use of those early rounds when it comes to later on in the fight. The takedowns weren't working either. Petty Yan is a very good grappler and he was able to deal with those with ease, especially as the fight went on. And it just seemed like he was landing more and more. And like I said, I, I think it was it was pretty clear to see that a finish was on the cards if that knee hadn't have happened and stopped the fight in the fourth round. So that's where the intrigue comes to me is how does Aljamain Sterling react? He's had over a year out now um, with all this pressure of people putting on him by calling him a fake champion and all this stuff which Petty Yan will definitely be saying in the build up to this fight um, is that's the interesting thing to me is how does Aljamain Sterling deal with this because I've seen him overcome great odds before and I've seen him put on performances that I did not expect before but this this would be the uh, this would be the top one for sure um Moving on to the other title fights being announced, of course, another rematch. Uh, this one is a trilogy: Max Holloway versus Alexander Volkanovski. And for me, I'm ready for this fight again now that we've had a break after the second one. Obviously, they first met at UFC 245. Even as a big Volkanovski fan myself, I did not expect that performance from him to shut out a champion like Max Holloway. I remember haven't watched the fight back since it first happened, but I remember thinking Volkanovski won all five rounds, which is insane. Uh, to say that about a guy who's fighting Max Blessed Holloway. Um, obviously, the rematch, a lot closer, UFC 251. I actually thought Max Holloway nicked that fight three rounds to two, as a lot of people did. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to see the fight again, because I thought Max had done enough to win, and the fights are so competitive that they could run it back ten times. But this, this break between them fighting has really helped this trilogy, I think. Volkanovski obviously has gone away and had probably the title fight of the year with Brian Ortega, um, where he showed how great a champion he is. So people can't disrespect him just because these fights with Max have been controversial, I guess, in some ways. And Max has gone out there and proved that Max Holloway is not slipping off this mountain anytime soon. He is here to stay at the top of the division with that incredible performance, Calvin Cater. Probably the performance of the year. Uh, I haven't done awards for the end of the year, but probably the performance of last year. And that war with Yair Rodriguez, which was one of the fights of the year. Um, mostly because Yair Rodriguez decided to block 
punches with his face. Not because Max Holloway's performance was lacklustre. He was great in both of those performances. So now we find ourselves in a position where we know that neither of these guys are going away. We both we know that these guys are the top two featherweights on the planet. So it makes sense to do it again. Um, I, th- I would slightly edge towards Max Holloway and here's why. I thought that he won the second fight. I think he adapted really well. He was a lot more aggressive against Volkanovski, which is dangerous because Volkanovski reads fights incredibly well and obviously he hits hard. But Max's fight IQ is so high. His range is so good. His output is insane. And he really seemed to make the most out of that. Obviously, Volkanovski got back into it. I thought that he won the fourth and fifth rounds um, in that second fight, I mean. But also... Max Holloway is so good that the idea of him losing three fights to one person seems crazy to me, especially after the adjustments he made in the second one. So I I kind of feel like I owe the pick to Max Holloway just because I rate him so much, I should believe that he can turn this around. Even with that being said, the split between them is so close. Um, I would maybe edge Max Holloway... I wouldn't even feel confident saying 60-40 in his favour. More like 55-45 maybe. Like the fight is that close. I'm going to do a predictions video for this year where I talk about who I think will be champions by the end of this calendar year. And this fight being announced has delayed that video by at least a few more days because I need some time to think about which way I want to go because one of them's going to come out of this fight with the championship belt and then they're probably going to have another title defense so this just adds another layer to that but anyway it doesn't matter that's not important right now UFC 272 has got two incredible title fight rematches let me know who you think is going to win get your early picks in in the comments thank you for checking out this video and hit subscribe because i'll be uploading on this channel an awful lot more until the next one goodbye